in this video i'm going to show you how i made a youtube thumbnail for one of my own videos using adobe photoshop welcome back to the channel my name is c jam and in my last video that i uploaded i used a particular thumbnail i used this thumbnail right and in today's video i want to show you how exactly i made that thumbnail using adobe photoshop now this video is sponsored by Envato Elements and we'll talk a little bit more about them later on in the video. So everything that we're going to be making today will be done in Photoshop. All that we're going to be using externally is just a photo and I got that photo from Envato Elements. Now let's just hop on into Photoshop and create this thumbnail. So here I am in Photoshop and I'm just going to go ahead and go to new file. And then I'm just gonna enter my um, dimensions for my thumbnail. You can do 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. And personally, I like to use the highest quality image possible. So let's just go ahead and enter 1920. The height is already 1080 and then resolution is already 300 DPI. We're not gonna change any of that. And let's just go ahead and hit create, right? All right, so here's my blank canvas. And all I'm gonna do next is just going to find my photo on my computer and then I'm just going to bring it in Photoshop and then we can start working. So I have my photo right here. I'm just going to drag it in and that's all I'm going to be using today for this tutorial. Let me just go ahead and make this full screen and then I can start working, right? We can start working. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Save your project. We're going to save it before we start working. We're going to hit Control and S. And then we're going to name it LSPV 075 YouTube thumbnail creation, right? And we're just going to save that. You can save it wherever you want on your computer, right? Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up top up here to select right here, select. It's going to click select. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click subject. And I already have my photo layer selected over here in my layers. So when I click select subject, Photoshop is just going to go ahead and select the subject, which is this model right here in this photo, this lady right here. And then it's going to give me a selection of her, right? Let's go ahead and click subject. And it's working. And there it is. You can see the outline around her, right? And all I have to do next is I can just delete the selection that I don't want or I can just come down here to the bottom to my effects tools right here and just look for the mask option. And then I'm just going to click the mask option to just add a layer mask based on the selection that I have here, right? Let's just go ahead and click. And you see that Photoshop literally deleted the background for me with just one click. That's a huge advantage with, with using the latest version of Photoshop and no, I am literally ready to work. See, it's all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna create a solid color. Let me just go back down but to the bottom here to create a new adjustment layer or fill layer. I'm looking for solid color and then I want to do a nice pink, a nice little pink for my um, thumbnail background, right? Mm. That's good. That looks good to me. What do you guys think? The next I want to do is the next thing I want to do is I just want to center her. But first, let me add um, a guide layout. Let me go to view and then new guide layout. And I already have this one like pre saved because I always use it. And then you can uh, if you wanted to add your own guide layout, you can go back to view new guide layout and then you can like adjust these. If I see I have two columns and two rows. If I adjusted this to three columns, you'd see it's dividing it for me, three rows. You see it's dividing up the guides for me, right? So, or if you want, you could have just like dragged out some guides from your rulers to wherever you want it, right? These are your rulers right here on the top and on the left hand side. I'm just going to center her, hit Control and T for my transform options. It's going to make her a little bit bigger about there and until she's centered there control and s to save and then i'm just gonna go control shift and a 
for my camera raw options because for this thumbnail I want her to be black and white right and I'm just gonna go ahead under basic and find saturation bring that all the way down to negative 100 and then bump up the contrast a little bit so the dark areas pop and the light areas pop as well and then I'm just going to lift the shadows a little bit that way it takes out some shadow out of her hair that way her hair isn't just like pitch black see that I still want a little bit of detail in there mm, blacks that's fine that's fine to me and I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK right now I'm ready to work. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and write some text because on the thumbnail I wanted to say graphic designer because the thumbnail is for how to become a graphic designer in 2022, right? So I just want my model on the photo and then the word graphic designer. So I'm just hitting T for my text tool and then I'm just gonna write graphic designer and I'm just going to adjust it over here on my properties tab if you don't have a properties tab here on the right you can just go to window click properties and it will pop up and then you can move it to wherever you want see that I'm just going to go ahead and choose the font monster at then I'm just going to go to black and then that's the weight of the font and then I'm just going to adjust the, the leading of the font here uh, there that looks good and we're definitely going to change the color we just move it down where it's centered to about there and I want to move her up a bit do I mm. yeah let me just make her bigger by going Control and T for my transform options and then let me just size her up that way there's no space right and then I'm gonna center her I am centering her by using the center of her nose with the center guide that I have the vertical center guide that I have on the layer right and that looks good and then I'm going to change the color of the font to I'm hitting T so I can select half of my font I'm going to change it to purple well it's already purple I'm going to change the actual let me change the designer rather to green this green right here and then should I change this from purple I think the purple is fine what I want to do next is you guys know I love shapes right I want to put a shape behind the word graphic designer that way it's not clashing with like her her hand or her clothing right let me go ahead and hit U for my shape tool and let me draw out a rectangle clicking and dragging out a rectangle and then let me change it to black by going up top to the fill or on the right over my properties tab you see how cool it is to have your properties tab and I'm just gonna change it to um, black where is the black change it to black and then I'm going to go over my layers move it down behind the graphic designer so I can see the text right then I'm just going to select both of them and then hit V for my move tool go up top to align the vertical and the horizontal centers that way the word and the rectangle are like centered in front of each other right let me just go ahead and select the rectangle um hit u for my shape tool options and you see these anchors right here in the corners if i pull on them like this it's allowing me to curve the edges see that but that's not what i want i only want to curve two edges so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and go over to my properties tab and you see right here this corner icon right here this chain link this lock right here is telling me that whatever value i enter here will be applied to all four corners similar to us dragging the anchor dot a while ago so let me just unlink this and now i can adjust each of the four corners individually right so what i want to do is i want to make the top left corner 150 pixels curved just like that and i want to make the bottom right corner 150 pixels curved just like that right but you see it's a little bit close to the R so let me just increase the width of this shape by going to my transform options here up top and then or let me use it up here my tool options let me just drag out the width increase the width and then let me select both of them the graphic designer and the rectangle hit V for my move tool 
and then align the centers again that looks much better what do you guys think i think it's coming along really nice control and s to save everything and then i think i want a little bit of character behind her you know maybe some shapes or something something let me just go ahead and hit t for my text tool let me hit that and then let me just have some like some full stops in here and then let me first of all these are too big let me size them down and then let me increase the tracking and then let me make them white white and then let me add some more i'm using t for my text tool then i'm aligning it to the center of my document and then let me add a couple more so it's almost as wide as the black bar mm. but there is good then i'm just going to duplicate this i'm selecting all of these elements here in the text box or in the text line press enter to break the line copy and paste them there let me first decrease the leading in between the lines to about there that's fine let me just select everything break the line and just literally paste them that way i have as much as i want right and then i'm just going to move them down behind the lady in my layers over here that way it's behind her on the graphic right how cool is that i really like this so far i think probably i want to size down the graphic designer and the rectangle so let me select both of them over here Control and t for my transform options and then let me just shrink the percentage a little bit wait i know where it looks off because it's not centered let me align it to the center of the document i aligned them both to the center of each other but i didn't align it to the center of the document so let me just move them over and my smart guides right there is perfect should help me that's looking much much better all right let me align this as well the dots uh, there is good let me move it down or let me move it up rather so i see one more row and the boat there is good control and s to save all that we just did and this is all i'm doing for this thumbnail right it's perfect i love the colors i love the expression on our model's face it's looking real real nice so now that you've seen my process in creating a youtube thumbnail how simple was this to you and i could not have done this without such a cool photo and i think we built well on that photo right and as i mentioned earlier this video is sponsored by envato elements and i got this photo from envato elements and they have such cool stock photos over there on their website as a matter of fact let's head over there now and let me show you this exact photo there but before we go you know that you have to save this as a jpeg or png to use it on youtube so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit alt Control and s and then i'm just gonna save this as a jpeg and now i can show you where i got the photo from envato elements so here we are on envato elements and this is the exact photo that i used you can see it says the happy funny african hipster woman wearing stylish sunglasses against a black wall that's just the description here and what's cool is on Envato Elements, if you go ahead and just scroll down, you'll get two options. They'll show you similar photos to the one that you're looking at, and they'll show you more photos from the uploader, from the author who uploaded this image. And if I go to similar photos, you can already see here that they have the same model with different variants, different poses, right, from the author. So let's just go ahead and hit see more. And you can see we have so many other options that we can look at, right? Let me just click on a bunch of them and show you what they look like. Let me go ahead and just cycle through them. You can see that we have this one right here. Let me zoom in. That's a pretty cool expression as well. Maybe your thumbnail needs more, um, more vibrance and personality. You can use this one. You know, maybe I could have put the word graphic designer here on her right. Who knows, right? The possibilities are endless when you have such cool photos if i wanted a lighter tone versus a dark background i could have used this one as well and the last one this nice smiling one here i could have also put the graphic designer here or here but you can see 
top quality photos from Envato Elements and I could not have made this thumbnail without that photo. And here's what's cool. Envato Elements wants to offer you guys 70% off a month's subscription from their website. 70%. How cool is that? And it gets even cooler. You can download unlimited stock photos. Maybe you're into social media graphic design and you need stock photos to create graphics for your clients, like how I just created a graphic for my YouTube thumbnail using a cool stock photo, right? There are endless possibilities. Like you have so much applications where you can use stock photos. And this is the website that I use, Envato Elements. You guys already know that I love them. I use them every single day in my life as a creative whether it's photography whether i need stock videos or background music for this exact youtube video i get it from envato elements so click the first link in this video's description to get that 70 percent discount right now so with all that we did here today what do you think of my thumbnail design let me know in the comments below and hey be sure to check out the links and the resources in the video description i'll put a link to this photo that we used today i'll put some links also some free downloads that you can get from my website so be sure to check out the video description thank you thank you so much for watching once again my name is cjam and i will see you guys in the next video